ladies and gentlemen, these are the best pickles I have ever bought. And I've been buying them for 40, 40 years, and my dad bought them before me. These are Batemte pickles. You get them at the, uh, the Canarsie Market. And uh, what we have here are some pickled olives in vinegar and olive oil, and some Hormel ham and provolone. And the, what you see, the bread is part, slice, part of a sliced up bagel. So this is a Jewish, this is a Jewish bagel. This is a Jewish flagel, F-L-A-G-E-L. -E it's a bagel, as is this a bagel. But this bagel here is a regular standard bagel. They're $1.20 each. Now this is half a bagel. I'm gonna put it here. What a flagel is, this is a flagel. A flagel is a regular bagel crushed down in thickness so that it's not quite as thick as a bagel, but it has a greater diameter. You can see that relatively easy. So that's a flagel. And this is a Jewish delicatessen pickle. Now, in this bucket, four gallons for $18, comes about 114 of these pickles. Now, I'm gonna have the, the bagels and the Jewish delicatessen pickles with the ham and the provolone with the uh, imported crushed olives as a prema, as a prema for having bagels with cream cheese. Now, I haven't tasted this Philadelphia cream cheese in six years. I bought five of these boxes. So the ba eventually, the, some of this cream cheese, probably tomorrow morning, is going to go on these bagels. So I'm going to have bagels and cream cheese with, believe it or not, what I like to put on bagels and cream cheese is peanut butter. So over here, I have some Smucker's, some Skippy peanut butter. Now I'm also bringing two 12 packs, 48 ounce jars of Smucker's jelly to the Philippines because I'm not in the Philippines, baby. I am actually in America, and that's where I'm getting all this Jewish influence from. There is nothing like a good Jewish bagel with cream cheese and jelly toasted. Nothing that nothing compares to the flavor. Then, if you have a, a Jewish bagel and you have Jewish pickles, okay with something like salami and provolone or salami and swiss and then you could add a little bit of nathan's mustard which is also a jewish a jewish origin i have to tell you that the jewish food that's in new york not possible to buy it anywhere else in fact i'm thinking about opening up a bagel a bagel business in Bahal. You believe what you want, but it may happen next month. So thanks for watching my videos and God day to everybody for Michael Fazio and Daisy May. But we're not in the Philippines, baby. Well, Daisy's in the Philippines, but I'm not. So thanks for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and share if you like the video. And at that point, I'm going to say God day to everybody from Michael Fazio and Daisy May. Not